Okay, so we all know what a ticking time bomb these can be. I'm talking about the fuel pressure regulator. Uh, so I got something here um, from, uh, it's called No Play Industries. And this is a, a lifetime diaphragm for a fuel pressure regulator. Uh, in this case, it's going on the, uh, the AEM regulator. Uh, interesting on this one here, uh, I don't know if you saw that other video, but the the hole here, which uh, reads vacuum, was not fully drilled through. And I guess the advantage of, of that would be you're never going to hydrolock your engine if that uh, doesn't flow any air. But then you don't get any any of the assist from added fuel pressure when on watt. So I'm, uh, I'm about to switch over this Dealey and then do a retune and see how it goes. I wonder... Um, I'm sure the height is different, so I'm gonna have to adjust the pressure, but um, yeah, no big deal. But uh, we'll see how this goes. I just wonder how it's gonna react being a different material and different thickness. I might have a different amount of PSI uh, under different loads versus the factory diaphragm, which is prone to failure. So let's see how this works out. Okay, so I got the cap off, off the AEM. And this is that diaphragm that is prone to failure. Uh, I don't know. I've had this open and closed probably 40 times. Uh, just messing with the, um, the orifice under here and, and tuning. Uh, I've had pressure regulator diaphragms fail before. Uh, really, really bad in my old Holly. That's why I switched to the AEM. Because uh, these diaphragms are easily purchased and replaced, right? Uh, just no local stock. I got to order online. But um, yeah, you can see it is drying out. I don't know if uh, you know wear and tear from so much activity here is is bad, but um, it's getting replaced with this one here. So should be the same size pretty pretty simple design so they're just using a material that's fuel proof and and stronger that's the whole deal so this one fits over here and this should be exactly the same so this is for the the newer style um em fuel pressure regulators that have this ball here um, so if you have an older style, you, you you know buy this whole thing. You actually need the seat too. I think the seat is different. Uh, but when you get the AEM upgrade kit for your older regulator, you get this piece and this piece, I believe. But uh, yeah, let's see. It fits on like stock, and this nut here, basically stock stock size. Should be close to stock. I'm just gonna go um, get the Torx and give this a snug up just in case. Maybe even some Loctite. Okay, so this uh, this 10 millimeter nut here, uh, it was just hand tight, like very, very light, tight. I don't even think I got a torque wrench that would read how, how light of a torque nut was. Um, so I put some red, Loctite on this. Um, I hardly ever use red Loctite, uh, but I put some red Loctite on it and I snugged it up again by hand. Um, if you go tighter, the uh, the rubber distorts even more, but it's going to get flattened out once it gets sandwiched inside here. Um, so maybe I'm going to shoot them an email and ask them how tight this is supposed to be. Um, it'd be nice with a, a flat washer on this side. This is a thin, thin flat washer. Maybe I have one. I don't think I do. Just something to uh, keep the diaphragm from distorting so much. But uh, anyways, here goes the install. All right, so just putting this back on, wiping any remaining fuel off the edge there. Um, the old one had this lip that went right in here the new one does not have that lip so let's let's see how this goes
I backed the adjustment way off. Just, uh, just cause. The uh, whole purpose of that blue glove was just so I don't scratch the housing here and the vice grips just to make it easier. I didn't line it up perfectly. That's why I was fishing around with the second bolt. But that is it. So I'm going to prime it a few times. I've got the big... 450 pump here so if anything shoots out the vacuum port yeah we're in trouble yeah a lot of tension feels it is, it is taller for sure. Anyways, let's prime it a few times and see if anything fires out of this hole. Anyways, let's uh, get rid of this, fire it up. I think I gotta bump the pressure a little bit more. But yeah, no, no fuel came out of there, which is good. Anyways, let's uh, crank it over and see, what, see how it runs. Okay, go. I got a 7 PSI spread from a watt and at idle here, uh, decent. So that is uh, that does seem to be functioning. Um, I'm just gonna actually. I just decided right now. I'm gonna give the whole thing a retune and run it at a little bit lower pressure and see how this does. Yeah. 
All right, that seems good. I like you.